Virgo, what's popping? What's popping, Virgo? What's going on with you? All right, so this is your December 2020 monthly tarot scope for all of my Virgos, sun, moon, and or rising, okay? We're going to get a wonderful message here for you, Virgos. We're going to see what you got going on in this month of December. Okay, let's see what's going on here for all of my wonderful Virgos. Okay. Mm. Mm. Virgo, I feel like you are a little bit drained entering into this month of December. You know, I'm also feeling like some um, congestion here. So I don't know if some of you have been dealing with headaches, sinus headaches, you know, sinus infection, things like that. Um, it's very possible that you could be dealing with things like that, you know. Okay. You got the Empress. You know the Empress, okay? So entering into the month, um, some Virgos could be finding out that they're pregnant. Okay, that's one thing. Some of you, um, some of you um, could be going through things with a mother figure this could be your own mother this could be your significant other's mother you know this could just be that coming into the month you are super focused on your um, motherly duties or your parenting duties um you know if you're a male you could be you know um, dealing with certain themes surrounding your mother or the way that your mother nurtured you or the way that your mother took care of you okay let's keep going and see what else we have the empress also just very much so stands for abundance and prosperity and um having everything at your feet she is like the mother of all creation so you could just be coming into the month feeling very Feeling very abundant, attracting a lot of abundance, attracting a lot of prosperity. But for some of you, you are definitely pregnant. So you're feeling like super pregnant. Or like I said, you're definitely focused on, you know, just being a mother right now. You're like in your in, in mother mode, you're in mom mode. You know, you're figuring out how to be the best mom to your abilities, okay? Okay, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so, yes, some of you are definitely pregnant. Okay, Virgo, um, you're finding out that you're pregnant. Um, but this is also um, the birth of a new opportunity. Specifically, it could be a financial opportunity. So, um, you guys could be, you know, birthing a new business plan. Like, you have a new idea for what it is that you want to do for your career or how you want to make money, you know, you're coming up with a new idea that will work um, alongside with you being a mother or with your parenting, or you could be, you know, wanting to open up a business with your mother. That could definitely be a theme, okay? Let's keep it going. You know, you could be, this could be dealing with an earth sign, child, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Um, because this is earth sign energy. You could also be using your femininity to make coin. You know, some Virgos, you could be sex workers. You could be having an OnlyFans type of situation going on. You know, whatever it is, you could be a dancer, okay? You know, you could, whatever it is, you could be using your sensuality or your femininity to make money, okay? You have the five of cups. So, this also could mean that some of you um, were trying to get pregnant this month. And maybe with the five of cups coming up, this is disappointment. So, you could be figuring out that... Um, you know, you may have a failed pregnancy or you just are not getting pregnant right now. Um, 
This could also be um, being disappointed in the relationship that you have with your mother or something may come out to where there's a disagreement um, you know, with your mother or your mother-in-law or you're finding out that maybe the relationship isn't as strong uh, if this is a mother-in-law situation, this could also be like a, a great aunt or something like that. It doesn't necessarily have to be a mother, but it is a very feminine energy. Um, but so you're looking at the situation and you're very disappointed at the way that it's turning out, okay? Um, or maybe you thought that the relationship was materializing to be something, you know, grounded or you know, steady or stable. And then you're figuring out like you're seeing like, okay, this is not actually manifesting into like the way that I wanted, or this is not turning out, you know, how we thought it would or how we planned it to turn out. You know, there could be disagreements or um, it could be the relationship with your significant other that is taking an effect on this motherly figure, whoever this woman is. Um, and so now, Four of Swords energy, you are in deep contemplation about, I feel like you're backtracking and you're trying to figure out, okay, where did we go wrong? Um, because to my knowledge, I could have sworn that this situation was a stable and grounded and connected type of situation but the way that things are unfolding this month in december is giving me an impression that you know this mother figure has a different opinion of me or you know they're putting a lot of expectations or pressures on me that are not necessarily realistic okay you know and if you don't have children this could just be you in the beginning of the month you were you are feeling very abundant and attracting lots and lots of prosperity, just random money, opportunities, you know, things like that. And then out of nowhere, one of these opportunities falls through or something that you thought could be um, a stable financial situation for you falls through. And so now you, you, you're disappointed. And then so now with the four of sports energy, you're contemplating, okay, what is it that I need to do next? Because I didn't necessarily make up a plan B or a plan C. I just had this plan A thought out in my head the whole time. And now that this looks like it's not working out, I need to really, really, really think about what my next steps are. Because I have to make some smart moves. Okay, this could also indicate rest. So if this was a financial situation that um, fell through... You know, you could be, this could be bed rest. This could be, um, your, this could be that you're in the hospital because of the failed pregnancy, you know, because sometimes the four of swords represents, you know, being in a hospital or being on bed rest. Okay. You know, but nevertheless, if you are on bed rest, if you're in the hospital or anything like that, you're just taking a break. You could be taking a break from your life, you know you know taking a week or a couple days to really rest and contemplate like how how are you not serving yourself in the highest way like why your body is trying to tell you something this month virgo your body is trying to tell you something this month that um you know how are you not serving yourself in the greatest or grandest ways like which ways are you allowing yourself to be drained by things that you know that drain you but because you can sometimes be naive or sometimes you want to give people the benefit of the doubt then you know you get your hopes up about certain things and it doesn't turn out the way that you want to virgo and so you're contemplating like how can i cut these behaviors out or how can i just you know i feel like you're just trying to push yourself to be like smarter or in more intelligent. I'm not saying that you're stupid. I'm not saying that you're dumb or anything like that. But I feel like your naivety, if that's how you say that, say that word, naivety, um, is really stepping on your own toes. Like you're getting in your own way because you're not playing things in the smartest manner, you know. But you did get the nine of cups. So this is the wish card. 
you know so whatever this situation is you find a way to work through it by this deep contemplation or this meditation that you go through you find a solution to whatever the issue was you find a solution and you're very content you're very happy with whatever the solution is it might not turn out how you thought it was going to turn out which is perfectly fine it doesn't have to be exactly how you want it virgo you know, it's not about how you got there. It's about did you get the end solution that you were looking for? Did you get the end product that you wanted? Okay. And it does look like you will get that. Okay. But don't be upset about the process. Whatever happens along the way throughout the process, you know, don't have any expectations for it. Release, surrender, surrender to the process. Let the process happen. The universe has its own way of doing things, which you have no control over. And so, you know, I feel like you definitely need to take a rest. I feel like, you know, next week you're going to feel pretty emotionally drained by whatever is going on. Maybe you're feeling like a lack of financial support from where you expect it the most. And so you're contemplating on how can I get this financial support or how can I financially support myself, okay? Um, so that's definitely something that you're thinking of and you end up getting your wish. So, you know, maybe you're asking your significant other for to financially invest in you somehow and they're saying, you know, I can't do it right now. Maybe I can do it later, but right now I cannot do it. You know, and then you go through this contemplation period, you go in and you be still and things end up working out the way that you want them to. You know, it may, might not happen in the way that you thought it would, but you do get that end result that you are looking for. Okay, so what's the final card for Virgo for the month of December, Virgo? What is the final card for Virgo? Okay. All right. Stability and security. Okay. Four of Wands. Everyone's getting this card this month. So it's looking like um, this is definitely that Sagittarius energy, you know, and it's the it's actually the Capricorn energy coming out because most of the Four of Wands card are coming out at the end. So did yours. And by that time, it will be Capricorn season toward the end of the month. Okay, so you're getting your wish. Okay, so maybe you were looking for um, your significant other, or this could be, you know, the your kid's dad or your kid's mom. You could have been asking them, you know, I need your assistance. Can you help me with this? Um... I'm trying to put myself in a stable position, you know, whatever that may be. Maybe you need to invest in a babysitter or maybe, maybe you need to invest in a babysitter. Maybe you need to invest in childcare. Maybe you need to invest in, um, this could be anything like that. You, there's something that you're trying to invest in to put yourself in a stable position, um, you know, this could be like, oh, I need a bigger apartment. This could be, oh, I need to get my car fixed. Or this could be, you know, um, I need you to pick up this shift for me so that I can, you know, this shift doesn't work for me. It's something, it's something big here that kind of gets misunderstood this month. But in the end, you do get your wish. You do get the stability and the security that you're looking for. You know, I feel like this is an actual, this is an actual foundation. I'm definitely getting the apartment vibe, the home vibe. Um, and maybe you guys are moving in together on a deeper level. That could be something, you know, you could be moving in with your significant other. Um, it could be that your mother needs this financial assistance and you may be disappointed in yourself that you're not able to give your mother the help that she needs at the time that she needs it. But then you go into deep contemplation and you end up finding a solution or a way that you could help her out. Okay. Um, you know, so, and then whatever, I feel like whatever the disagreement was, 
with this motherly figure, you know, towards the end of the month, you do have a conversation. You do get, get down to the bottom of it and you say, look, this, this is what's going on. This is the only way we can solve this problem, you know, and I need you to meet me halfway. I need you to be a little bit more open to the suggestions that I have. I know that it's not working out the way that we planned it to, but we can still make things happen some sort of way. We can still make this work. Okay. Okay. So let's get your chakra swatches cards and see what Virgo has going on for the month of December. What Virgo has going on for the month of December. All right, what's going on? It's my birthday. Spiritual awareness. Okay, this is your third eye chakra, spiritual awareness. So I feel like, Virgo, you're becoming aware of a lot of things this month. Um, I feel like you could have been asking someone to put you in a position to do something and the person is like, I'm sorry, I can't do that at this time. And it's not like their intention is to shoot you down. It's just like they actually don't have the capability or the ability to solve your problem for you. But I feel like this month you're coming into spiritual awareness and understanding like, okay, I can't put shit on other people. I can't put my shit on other people for other people to carry for me, you know? Um, I need to not be a burden to other people. I can't do that. I can't, you know, that's not cool. It's not a good thing. And so you're becoming aware of that. And so you're switching that around this month. You're saying, okay, I need to take responsibility for my own life. And, you know, even though I sometimes want to always serve others, that's probably not always the most productive thing because it drains me of other energy it drains me of energy that I need in other spaces of my life and I'm not able to provide in this space of my life because I'm draining myself over here, giving you this part of me, okay? And you're coming into spiritual awareness about that this month, Virgo. Everything at the end of the month works out for you, Virgo. This is a happy holiday, you know. Compassion, and that's another thing. So you're having compassion for this is your heart chakra you're having compassion for you know you're having understanding about this situation you know whoever it is that wants to help you but is not able to you know instead of virgos they say virgos can be like selfish people i'm a virgo rising so no shade um selfish but virgos love to serve others not serve others but serve for the greater good like they like to do something that helps people okay so they balance that energy out by being selfish with themselves in other times because they serve you know the collective and then they're selfish you know i don't think there's nothing wrong with being selfish when john john okay so um but you're having compassion and you're making sure that you're not so in your selfish energy, you know, you're trying to balance that energy out and have compassion for the person and say, okay, I understand this person really is trying their best. Like I need to stop being so hard on them. I need to stop putting all my responsibilities on them and expecting them to make things in my life happen when I'm in charge of my own life. Okay, which is great. So it's like a sense of taking, taking back your power, Virgo. Taking back your power, you know, you don't want to give people the key to your life and then get mad when they leave the door unlocked. It's like, why the f are you leaving the door unlocked? Well, you kind of gave me the key, so I feel like I can do whatever I want. You know, if I want to leave the door unlocked, I, mean, I left it unlocked. It's not a big deal. If you're mad about it, just go lock it. So that's what Virgo is figuring out. Like, okay, this person is not taking my life seriously so i have to do it myself let me go lock the door myself and actually can you return my key as well it's no shade i just need my key back for the safety and the stability of myself can i get my key back and the way that you do this virgo is so like 
flawless it's so effortless it's so charming it's like they don't even they don't even see it coming you know and that was your whole intention for them to not be affected in a negative way you know whatever this situation is this the storyline is you know it's very vague it's escaping me <laughs> okay okay so you got intuition so you know exactly what i'm talking about in this reading use your intuition it's your third eye so you're following your intuition and you do you're doing what you need to do for yourself absolutely you're like look i know what it is that i need to do i just been trying to you know procrastinate and not do it i thought i could put it off for a very long time and it turns out that i cannot it's you know it's time for me to step up time for me to step in my in my power and so let me just do that this is what i gotta do all right and your final card virgo is truth yes somebody's telling you the truth this month virgo you're telling someone else the truth this month you're like look it is what it is this is where we are we're at a crossroads There's nothing i can really do about this energy this is what's going on and this is what we have to deal with and this is you know we have to find a solution no matter what the circumstances are a solution has to be found there's no point in arguing over the details because there's nothing we can do about the details the details are already there they're set in stone like we're moving on from this now you know we're moving forward so it's like what where is the what is the end goal what's the common end goal can we all come together and figure out what works for all of us okay that's your reading, Virgo. I really hope that that makes sense for you. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Drop a comment below and let me know if it makes sense at all, if it resonates. Um, and make sure that you follow me on Instagram at Magic Mermaid. Follow me on Twitter at The Magic Mermaid. And I will see my beautiful Virgos. I will see you guys next month. All right? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know.